All right, Righteous Vegans. Hey, Billy Beets. Oh, I love a beet salad. Oh, don't get me started. I love a beet salad. Okay, I don't want a beet on my burger, Australia. But I love a beet salad. Uh, My sister-in-law is a righteous vegan. Every way of life. You know, maybe if there was a yellow beet, I bet it tastes good. Maybe I had the wrong beet on the burger. I just thought it overpowered the patty. It was as thick as the patty. It made no sense. Then again, the burger's not their thing. Right? You don't see us over here trying to make a Vegemite sandwich. Uh, Every way of life. Okay, my sister is a righteous vegan. Oh, God. Every way of life that isn't modeled like hers is immoral. Oh, that's fun to be around. Everyone who eats meat or consumes butter is either an asshole or ignorant. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that's two strikes against me. Uh, We get along, but I have no problem throwing counterpoints at her. God bless you. Like, what the fuck do you think happens to all the animals who live on the land you're farming? Killing one deer and eating for six months is less of an impact on the ecosystem than tilling up a few football fields to yield one salad. (laughs) Not to mention the almonds and all the water they need, Bill. Yeah, that's true. There's nothing wrong with any of that shit. There's just too too many fucking people. We have to figure out how we're going to do this. (laughs) <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to figure it out. Um, I've never hunted nor shot an arrow, and I don't see myself doing it anytime soon. So this isn't some uh, camo-draped bias. Uh, bias. I work in insurance. I love hunters, man. I think with if anybody who can fucking go out, track something, kill it, skin it, clean it, take the meat, go home, start a fire in the fucking wilderness. I mean, th- those are like, incredibly incredible skills that if you're not an asshole you should be 100 percent envious of it maybe learn how to do it um i want to do the city version where i learn how to fucking eat my neighbor (laughs) when i'm sick of squirrel stew um all right so i sent this article about how vegan leather is primarily made of fossil fuels and she accused me of conflating issues um Confl- what does conflating mean? Is that what I was accusing some gun people of earlier? Hang on a second. Let me see. What does conflating mean? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can laugh at me. Most of my listeners are like, I don't know what the fuck it means either. I know what inflating means. Conflate. Gerund or present participle. Conflating. I thought that was the fucking definition. Gerund. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Combined... Two or more text ideas, etc., into one. The urban crisis conflates a number of different economic and social issues. Oh, so there's a way of doing it when you see 360, and then there's a way that you're just saying that you're you're, you're sticking shit together that doesn't go together. Okay. Um. Anyways, uh, she says you're conflating issues, and this guy says thought all areas of the planet intersected, but apparently not according to my sister-in-law, the genius. Oh, man, you just got to let this shit go. I'll tell you, Bill, the blinders you have to live with in order to live a happy, principled life. I'm telling you, 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 you got it figured out. You just got to go, oh, yeah. You know what I like to do with people like that? I just like to listen. And you just let them talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And then eventually, if there is a God, they run out of shit to say. And you haven't argued with them. You're just listening. And when they're done, you just go, oh, okay. Hey, where are we watching uh, game five tonight? You just change the subject. It fucking infuriates them. You didn't even listen to anything I said. I sat here for 20 minutes and didn't say a word. I presented no opposite. Thing. You're just arguing. You just wanted to, you just want to argue? I don't want to argue. I respect your opinion. I don't want to argue. Okay? Put your eyebrows down. Okay? It's over. Uh, Anyways, this guy says, uh, you know, here's the article so you know I'm not bullshitting you. Uh, Thanks and go fuck yourself, you bald angel. Well, I'd click on the article, but everybody's full of shit. For all I know, this is coming from the people that make cow leather. I don't know. Is it true? And I'm not going to fucking sit here and try to debunk 
or or or, or what is it? What do they call it? Vet a fucking article on um, plant-based leather jackets. Nice leather jacket. It smells like broccoli. At least it doesn't smell, it smell like a dead animal. Oh, dead animals smell better than that fucking thing. Uh, things I should have said. Uh, dear Billy Beanbag, uh, <laughs> I hope that reference will count as an insult. They all count as insults. That's why I laughed. Jesus Christ, what do you think I'm dumb? I don't know. If, did you spell bean right? B-E-A-N-E? Is that how you spell beanbag? I thought it was like the bean. B-E-A-N. Um, as, as I am from the Oakland Bay Area, and he has traded uh, away every star for two minor leaguers and a player to be named later. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get the joke. Billy Bean, the fucking owner of uh, the Oakland A's. Dear Billy Beanbag, I hope that will count as an insult, meaning Billy Bean is an insult where he's from because he's from the Oakland Bay Area and the owner of his team has traded away every star to two mi- for two minor leaguers and a player to be named later. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why they're going to fucking move to Vegas. It's a fucking shame. Um, I was having a night in with my lady. She suggested we watch Battlestar Galactica, which I had never seen. Great show, by the way. The TV series? Beady, 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 beady. That thing? The Cylon Raiders? Um, <clears throat> is that what you're talking about? Or did they make a movie of it? I don't know. Things get spicy. Oh, you're watching Battlestar Galactica. She goes, he goes, things get spicy. I'm tagging her from behind. She seems to be enjoying it. Good for me. She turns her head around to make eye contact, but she sees that I'm actually still watching the episode. Oh, no. She flips the fuck out. I went straight to deer in the headlights, and I forgot what words I mustered and yammered, yammered afraid to hurt her feelings. Looking back, I wanted to say, you're the one that told me to watch it. It's a good show. It's a good show. Just look forward. <laughs> And then just finished. Thanks and have a nice day. Also, kudos to the Celtics for picking up game one. Oh, that's from a little while back. Um, Yeah, you could have been like, do you realize the level of concentration it takes to keep a fucking erection while watching Battlestar Galactica? I mean, this is a fascinating series. This is like when you watch those things on Discovery about how the planet came to be the way it is. I've watched those my whole life. I don't ever remember having a hat on. Um, that's fucking hilarious. First of all, God bless your woman, huh? Doggy style, turn around for a little eye contact. You know, I mean, she's, I mean, she, she's a gamer. I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Sitting there watching, you know, who says nerds don't get laid? Good for you, man. You're watching sci-fi and fucking hooking up. I like this guy. I like, I like this whole relationship. And you're a baseball fan. God bless you. Well, actually, no, she's the sci-fi nerd. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I don't even. I think you're conflating two issues here: sci-fi and doggy style sex. Uh, I have a new word, and I will use it <laughs> while I still remember it for the next fucking six hours. All right, that's the podcast, everybody. God bless you. I'm not fucking with you gun owners. I'm seriously asking because I know none of us wants that to happen to our children. So I'm trying to have this maybe be a place where, uh, I don't know, people can talk to each other without yelling, um, which is fucking hilarious coming from me considering I've spent most of my life yelling at people. Um, Well, what do you think about that, you toxic white male? Shut up. All right, that's it. Go fuck yourselves. Have a great couple of days and I'll check in on you on Thursday. How do I shut this off?